stones. Okay, so to make these pattern stones, you're going to need your pattern board. Okay, we have different designs of pattern boards available. So this is one, this is another one. We have series of it okay so if you just need any of them just contact me on instagram or you just drop your questions in the comment section so that we can attend to you so for this particular tutorial i'm going to be using this because i want to put it on a booboo dress so i will be using this channel pattern that we have here so this is what we're going to work on so i'll just set the other pattern boards aside so to do this you will need your stone Okay, depending on how many you want to create okay so there is you should look out for the stone that will work for the type of pattern board that you're working with so this fits perfectly into my pattern board and how you know this is by the time you put the stone it just goes inside okay it goes inside and it fits it perfectly just like we have it here so that's how you know the stone that will be appropriate for your pattern board so now this is the stone that i'm going to be working with you're also going to need your transfer sheet okay it comes in a row you also have this available for sale if you need it so this is the transfer sheet that i'm going to be working with for this project and also you need a foam to rub it but for the sake of beginner i'm just going to use my bare hand and then i'm going to be using this picker to pick it you can also use a big picker you can use whatever it is but i'll make this as simple as possible so that we can all follow it so now what i'm going to do now is to bring my stone and then you take a generous amount okay so that you can finish on time so just take a good amount of stone like this you pour it on that particular place remember we're working on this not this not this so you pour it on that place that you're working on and then i'm just going to use my hand to rub it so like i said you can use a foam to do this you can use an handkerchief just use something just to rub it so that you can fill the holes the holes that you have on your board okay so i'm just rubbing it all around and then you can see that it is it is diminishing you can see it is already filling all of them so you can see that what the amount that i have here is reducing so i'm just spreading everything all around you have to be careful with this because stone is quite expensive you don't want your stone to waste so i'm just rubbing it everywhere basically so this is what i'm doing i'm rubbing it i'm filling the holes i'm filling it you fill your holes up okay so after filling it up like i have here you will see that some of the beads some some of the stone are actually arranged properly how they are supposed to be but if you look at it well you will see let me just zoom this okay so i believe we'll see it's better now so if you look at it you see that some of these stones are arranged normally you can see that this is placed normally how it is supposed to be but you also notice that some are turned okay the shiny part that is supposed to be up is upside down just like we have it here and some of the holes does not have any stone so this is what you're going to do manually so with with this picker that i have here i'm just going to go ahead. it's very simple so you can see if once i put it inside like this it is automatically turn the stone for me and then i'll place it the way it's supposed to be okay so you can see so it's really simple to make you just put your picker and then you use that to turn your stone okay so this is what i am doing you can see once i use one and you can see how it's turning so it's just turn on its own it's really simple to do so you can see you can see i'm turning it so now after turning it the excess that you have here you just pass it to the holes that does not have any stone so what you're trying to achieve is that you want all of this space on this particular pattern that you have chosen you want every space there to be filled with stones in the correct order so you make sure that the shiny part is facing up 
okay just like you have it like this and then you make sure that you don't have excess on any part so whatever excess that you have you just try as much as possible to push it aside and then you use it to fill the spaces that does not have holes so it is as simple as that that is basically what we are doing so after pull, after fixing everything and then when we're sure that we have filled it up it's very simple and it's fast within 20 to 30 minutes you should be done with this okay so i make sure that you don't shift your pattern but just put it in a comfortable table like this and then you just work on it don't shift it so that you don't ruin the work that you've already done so after arranging everything like this we're just going to use our transfer sheet to pick it up just like that so i'll just go ahead and arrange all of this and then i'll see you when i'm done okay so i have filled this up completely now we can see the focus should be on this pattern okay so we can see now that it is completely filled you check carefully to see that you have everywhere filled with stone in the correct order so anywhere you have to you remove one and anywhere you see that upside down you turn it to be in the right direction make sure that the entire hole has stone in it so after that the excess that you have you're just going to put this back into my container so now what I'm going to do now is to pick this stone with this transfer sheet. So this is how, this is not how it comes actually. I have just cut out the little that I know will cover the space that I am working with. So this transfer sheet has two sides to it. Okay, so now like I said it has two sides. So what I'm going to do now is to just open it up. Okay, be careful not to spoil your stone. So now I will just open it up and it has this sticky side which is like a nylon and then it has this cover so this cover is what you are going to use to cover it back after picking your stone that's if you are not using it immediately and if you are using it immediately after picking it with your nylon you just place it on wherever it is you want to apply it to so i just detach the nylon from the gum and then you set it very well okay make sure that it is set on the space that you want to apply the stone so you can see i am placing it now you set it well so once it is set you just place it on it once okay so like i was saying you just use your hand to press your sheet on it very well so that the gum can pick your stone for you so after that you just open it up and start picking it so by now it must have picked the stone so you just remove it carefully so i see one here that it is not big I'll just put it back and press on that place. It has picked it up for me. So now, if you see anyone that is not picked, you go back and then use your hand to press it so that I can pick this stone. So see now, there is no stone on it again. The stone now is on the sheet. So I'm going to remove everything. I see another one here. So I'll just pick it up and continue. So now. I'm picking everything and then I remove all my stone. I see another one there. So you just make sure that you pick all of your stones and this is what we have. So you can see now that the stone now is on the sheet. You can see how we can see the design that we have on our sheet now. So like I said if you are using it immediately you just paste it on whatever it is that you want to use it on directly so if you are not using it immediately all you just need to do is to bring back your cover the cover that you removed from your transfer sheet and then you place it on it just like this to cover it up and then you can store it so now with this now it can till any any time you want so i'll just go ahead now and stick this to my dress okay so to attach it i'm using my e transfer machine but you can also use your pressing iron so you lay the surface on the machine just like this where you want to attach your paper stone and then if the place is wrong food you can iron it first okay so after ironing it you bring in your ready made paper stone and then you remove the cover from it exposing the stone like this so now you know by now you must have marked where you want to place your stone so the next thing to do is to carefully place it just like this
okay so now i have sticked it because of the gum is just going to stick easily for you so now after sticking it the next thing is to bring in your iron and cover it up okay so just wait for a few seconds okay for the gum to melt to the cloth and once it's okay your machine will make a sand and then you open it so after opening it you can leave it for a few seconds as well a few minutes for it to cool down before you remove the nylon on it so now i'm removing my nylon and then you just check you can see that the nylon does not have any stone on it again my stone now is transferred to my fabric okay so like i said when you are making your stone you should be careful and make sure that it is in the right order so you can see the ones that was not in the right order you can see them now they are attached to the to the nylon not the fabric so you make sure that you put them in the right order so now i remove it and this is how you can tie your ready-made stone to your fabric so after laying it now you can just iron it a little bit again for it to stick